<laughs> that was scary. Hey guys, today we are making an amazing recipe. This is probably my favorite dessert of all time. We are making a gingerbread cake. This dessert is very much like a cake texture, but you can cut it into brownies. You can cut it up like a loaf, or you can just eat it straight out of the pan. Our favorite way is to cut it up like little mini brownies because the cream cheese frosting is just the perfect topping. The key to this recipe and what I realized after trying it a couple times is that we're gonna need to brown the butter to really get that rich flavor. So I'm using a bottom heavy saucepan because although you were browning it, you don't wanna burn it. I'm gonna add four tablespoons straight to the pan, medium heat. Any saucepan will really work for this, but I like using a stainless steel one because then you can see the butter browning. So this will take about 10, 15 minutes. So we're just gonna let that melt down. And while that's melting, let's get our dry mixture together. Add 3 fourths cup coconut flour, 3 fourths cup sweetener. And here we're using granular erythritol, half a teaspoon baking powder, one teaspoon cinnamon, ground cinnamon, two teaspoons ground ginger. If you're not a fan of the ginger flavor, you can go a little lighter. We like it in this house and half a teaspoon of allspice. This is the trick. It has cloves, nutmeg. It has like four or five different spices. So if you don't have allspice, you could probably make it. Now we're gonna mix this up. Set that aside. Now let's go check on our butter. It's melted all the way down. And at this point, you wanna turn it to closer to low, medium low. And you're gonna wanna keep stirring and keeping an eye on it as it browns. It'll start to get frothy like this and you wanna keep stirring it. You can see it getting a little darker in color too. So if you're impatient and a risk taker like myself, you can turn it up a little to medium and you can start to see it browning. It'll get very foamy on top. So at this point you wanna keep mixing it so it doesn't burn. Mm, can you smell that, Matt? Mm -hmm. It's like, it smells like it's caramelizing, which is essentially what it is doing. So that looks good and brown. Can you see through the foam? Mm -hmm. So this is an important step. Once your butter has browned and you've taken it off the heat, you want to strain it into a separate bowl. So now we're gonna let this cool because it's very, very hot. We put the butter in the fridge for a little bit so it would cool quicker. It's not really cool, but we're impatient. So if you're like us, I'll show you a trick. Into a large mixing bowl, you're gonna crack four eggs and mix that. You're gonna slowly add the butter as you mix. And to this mixture, we are going to add half a teaspoon of maple extract. If you don't have this at home, that's totally fine. You can go with vanilla. Now we're gonna add our dry mixture to our wet mixture in two batches. Oh my God, it smells heavenly. Now we like to do ours in a bread loaf pan and that'll give you a nice thick cake, but you can also use a brownie pan, it'll just be thinner. You can use coconut oil spray or you can line it with parchment paper and this will help for easier removal. You're not gonna get like a liquid consistency like you would with brownies because of the coconut flour. So you, the consistency will be pretty dough-like. So you're gonna have to form it out. You can use your hands or the spatula. You guys are in for a treat. We're gonna put this in the oven at 350 degrees for 40 minutes. All right, guys, we are back with our cake and it's perfect. It looks so brown and beautiful, just like me. And it smells amazing. Um, so this is already cooled. It was in there for 40 minutes at 350. It's cooled for 20 minutes. So let's take it out. Let's see, ooh, came out perfect. Let's set this aside and make our cream cheese frosting. So in this bowl, I have four ounces of room temperature cream cheese and four tablespoons of room temperature butter. It's important that they're room temperature so that the, they mix uniformly together and there's no like chunks. So now that we have everything together, we're gonna give it a mix. To this, we're gonna add half a cup powdered erythritol. So here we just, we have granular at home and we just pulse it up in a coffee grinder and it powders it perfectly. And then we're also gonna do a pinch of salt. That's honestly how easy it is and it's super delicious. Oh man, mm. 
Cream cheese frosting is definitely my favorite. The cake is fully cooled, the icing is made, and we're gonna ice this puppy. I think the next thing we need to invest in is an icing tool. Oh baby, look how cute that is. Mm. I hope you can see how moist it looks. Should I give it a try? As Matt would say, delightful. This is so good. It's incredible. The ginger, the allspice, the browned butter, you can get it all. This is the perfect holiday recipe. Let us know what you think below. Maybe even do like a cinnamon cream cheese icing. You can do a chocolate icing. You can do whatever you want, have fun. Happy holidays, guys. <laughs>